what is up everyone so um what i'm gonna do for you guys today is uh do a little bit of a clue uh tutorial video to teach everyone out there who wants to uh learn how to play clue better uh to teach you how to play clue uh i am a master level clue player i am currently uh in the top 20 right now in the world and as you can see my settings is they're all on hard which means uh I can't find an online game right now, so I'm going to do this against the AI. However, what you need to know about this particular AI is when they're set to hard, they're going to literally play virtually as well as a human can play in terms of deduction skills, so they're not going to make any mistakes when it comes to getting clues. Uh, they're going to basically play as good as they can. Um, so any clues they get, you know, is going to, uh, they are going to use them properly and uh, it is easy to lose uh, a game against uh, the, the all hard AI sometimes because it's just it's considered very hard difficulty and you know the clue is actually a game of luck to some degree so uh, jumping right in um, so as you can see we're using a pretty cool little skin here for clue cluido uh, we're using the uh, mystery express one I always play as Moriarty because, I don't know, uh, the villain in me, I guess. Okay, so we started out with one character and two uh, locations. This is not optimal, but it is what it is. So, uh, we're going to be going last, which uh, <coughs> is not good if you're trying to win, but it is good if you're trying to get a high score and possibly end the game on the first or second turn. So, if you're actually trying to win, we have a disadvantage this game. We are going dead last. But, if we're trying to win with style, we have an advantage because, you know, we get as many clues as possible before we get to go. So, as you can see, Scarlet asked for Moriarty, the coal shovel, and the engine. Well, uh, we don't have any of that, so we're not going to get clued into any of, uh, of what's going on. Uh, this is, has a cool little feature. Um where it is let me do it this way where it is going to um, show you what uh, you know uh, it's gonna mark off what we know so automatically so uh, I mean this is something obviously if plum doesn't have Moriarty the coal shovel or uh, the engine but we know that Orchid does. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick note. And these notes are important because, like, if you're playing the automated game, it's not going to take these notes for you. And they are going to be extremely important to playing an optimal game of Clue. So what we're looking at is that Orchid has Moriarty, the Coal Shovel, or the Engine. Then we'll go to this and we'll put our little question marks there because we do know that they definitely have one of those three cards. Simple enough so far. Where I think people go wrong when they play Clue is they don't use this information properly when other people are asking questions and really paying attention to what other people are asking. And, you know, against humans it's even a little easier because you can actually watch what they're asking. And if they're fairly predictable, um, get a pretty good read on stuff. So this one was a really interesting question. Uh, accus uh, you know, suggestion because the four of us did not have the signal box, the velvet rope, or plum. Now we know that Scarlet has either the plum, the velvet rope, or the signal box, or multiples of those. Again, we need to notate that. So Scarlet has plum, velvet rope, or signal box. <coughs> now that kind of um, question is uh, is 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 going to be big to ending the game pretty quick because if one of those things happens to to be what's up, then people are going to get a pretty good uh, you know clue on that. So this person's going to give us orchid. Now they're they're in the station bar, which we have, so that's going to give us a big hint that brunette. That brunette either has orchid or the ranch because we know they don't have 
the station car because a uh, station bar because we have a station bar. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so we have brunette. And I believe they already know we don't have now they don't they know that we don't have the signal box. So they know that we either showed brunette or the glass. That's also important to know. Um, not as important to take this note, but in your very top level games, especially against humans, it is important to know what they know about your cards, because uh, you'll be able to interpret the questions and suggestions that they're making a little easier. So again, we know that Brunette now does not have Brunette, the glass, or the signal box, which it's going to mark for us. We already knew he didn't have the signal box or Brunette, uh, but now we know he doesn't have glass. So he's going to go to the sleeper car now. Uh, Brunette's going to take his first turn. And they are going to suggest Scarlet with the glass in the sleeper car. So what this is going to tell us is that Scarlet either has Scarlet, the glass or the sleeper car. Okay. So let's see what we roll. We're, our options of where we're going to be able to go are very, very limited. We're going to be able to go... Okay, so here we're going to do a little bit of, of a bluff, right? And what I mean by that is we're going to go to a location that we already know um, that we have this. So it'll... Against humans, it'll definitely throw them off, especially if you get through, because, you know, sometimes so some people are more perceptive than others. But, uh, you know, so we're, we have the dining car. So we're basically looking for what we're looking for here, which is uh, people. So we're going to go plum, because I want to know, here's the thing about this. Scarlet has plum, velvet rope, or signal box, scarlet, glass, or sleeper car. So I want to do one of those possibilities, which I will go plum, because I know a lot of people don't have plum already. Uh... And then I'm going to pick a weapon that uh, hasn't really been hit on yet. I would optimally actually love if, if they had a weapon that I knew Scarlet didn't have. Um, and I'm fairly certain that because I have two question marks on the glass and the velvet rope, that they probably have one of those two maybe, but probably not a different weapon. So I'm just going to throw a different weapon out there. Uh, I could have done the same thing with the velvet rope and picked a different character. It would work the exact same way. Um, I'm going to pick Plum with the, uh, let's just go with the knife in the dining car. Now, I know she's not going to be able to show me dining car. She's going to show me Plum right here. Uh, so that's what she has. So we knew she had Plum, the velvet rope, or the signal box. So we got to erase that now because she showed Plum. Um... Now, it still doesn't mean that they couldn't have the other ones, which is why I'm going to leave the question marks up on there. But now I know that they don't have plum, which is hinting me that maybe the velvet rope is the, the weapon that we're looking for. Simply because they probably don't have both of them. They, they have, um, you know, uh, only three cards. We only have three cards. So here we go. Signal box. Now, Plum could have the signal box, Plum could have the glass, and Plum could have white. So, all those possibilities are still open. So, we're going to go Plum has white, glass, or signal box, because uh, we know that. Okay. Now, the difference between just putting the question marks on your chart and actually keeping the notes is that because sometimes you'll find out that Plum 
doesn't have one of those things. And if they're just question marks, you don't realize the causal nature of it. You need to know that they have this, this, or this, because if you know that they don't have two of them, that they do have the third. So um, we know that now the orchid does not have the velvet rope. We already knew that. Uh, we knew that they don't have the lounge. Oh, it's already keeping notes. Okay, so that's what it's showing us. Okay, so we know that they don't have any of that. Now we know that white does have one of those three. So white has white, the velvet rope, or the lounge car. Now just using my powers of deduction, I'm going to say that it is highly likely that, we, well we know they don't have the velvet rope, so they either have white or the lounge car. Because we know uh, that they don't have the velvet rope. So they either have the white, they either have white or the lounge car. And that's good. It's good to get it down to two. Because we just had another one that was white or something else, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plum has white glass or signal box. So we'll be able to kind of figure out who has white here in a second. That'll, that'll, it's one of the better clues we could deduce because, you know, of, of, of the information we have so far. So, now that we know, now we know white has either white the knife, we know they don't have the signal box. So, they either have white or knife. So, I'm gonna actually going to go ahead and change this to an exclamation mark. The reason I do that is to let me know that they've been asked about white twice. Both times they've shown it, or they've shown a card when they've been asked about white with some other uh, things. So, the odds are that white, uh, that Dr. White has Dr. White's card. <coughs> so now we know Brunette. That tells us nothing. Because we knew they already we knew they already had the orchid or, or the wrench. Uh, so I don't understand that question that White asked because we already knew that Brunette had either the wrench or Orchid uh, and that they don't have the station bar because I have the station bar. So now it is Brunette's turn. They are going to go to the barber shop. They're going to ask for Scarlet with the lamp. Wow, okay. Look at that. So Orchid has either Scarlet, the lamp, or the barber shop. Now it's also important, you can't really see the notes too well, but the other important part about this is that we know that they have two things, and we know it's one of three and one of three, and those two things are differently. I mean, are different. So that's uh, going to get us way further along to knowing what three cards they are, because we have two different sets of three that don't include anything of the same. Um, so I'm starting to think that the, the culprit in this is either going to be Moriarty or Scarlet. Let's call that a hunch. Uh, so... Here we go. Um, um, there's a lot of ways I could play this, right? I could go to a, a place that I don't know uh, what anybody has, or I can go, I'm actually going to go to the signal box, because I just want to go ahead and, uh. see, here's the thing, I don't want to hit a room, I don't want to hit a room, I'd rather find out what weapon we're dealing with, or what suspect we're dealing with, so even though there's more rooms to try to deduce through, and it's not the worst idea to try to get a room out the way, um, 
But I guess that's what I do. The, the problem is I don't know any of Plum's cards and I only know one of Scarlet's cards. So if I guess, if I'm trying to, to figure out something and I, and I hit a room that I already know, uh, it, it just doesn't help. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the barbershop. Because it's going to make sure that, and the reason for that is because I see that neither Scarlet or Plum has the barbershop. So at the very least, if it gets to the barbershop, I'll get three down and I'll find out what Scarlet and Plum don't have. So I know that they don't have Scarlet. Um, and I kind of want to know about Mario, Moriarty. So I'll be okay if Scarlet shows me Moriarty. Um, and then as far as weapons go, I also kind of want to know if they have the Velvet Room. So I'm gonna go Moriarty with the velvet rope in the in the okay. So we know the weapon, right? Whoa, we just won. That was a pretty good guess. We just won just like that. Okay, so I mean, there you go. It was Moriarty with the velvet rope in the uh, barbershop, and we just won. Uh, final accusation, yeah, because we know the answer. So that was pretty cool. That was a quick game. Um, Moriarty, Velvet Rope, Barbershop. Let's see if we won or if we lost. Hint, hint, I already know we won. There we go. Boom, bang, boom. And uh, we solved the crime. Probably going to, yeah, got a gold. Not our best score, but as you can see, the difficulty is as hard as it gets. It's very hard. Um, pretty quick game. Took us only three turns. Pretty wild. I think that was the same amount of turns it took me to get my best score. I guess I just did it a little faster last time. because uh, Or the other time, because I wasn't doing um, a video. So, uh, that was that's, you know, uh, we're going to do another one, because I don't feel like that was... Uh, we didn't get to show off a lot of, of, of clue skills there. Um, but, you know, hopefully after watching a couple games, you'll see that um, it is it is what it is. So I'm just kind of showing you some different skins because uh, if you're familiar with Clue, you're, you're, you're already familiar with the class mansion of the Tudor Manion. That's the one that everyone is familiar with. Um... So there we go. Uh, so we're going to play another quick one. Let's do the Murder Express. We just did. We just did the Murder Express, didn't we? Let's do Snowy Peaks. So I play as Moriarty. I have a weird thing about... Uh, I just like playing against the people that are in character for some reason. So I'm going to play against all the snow people. From Snowy Peaks. Mr. Green happens to be my favorite regular character, so I never play against him. That's just me. <coughs> As you can see, again, hardest difficulty. Um, can't guarantee a win. You, I mean, you, you just never know with Clue. Like, there is a large degree of randomness to it. All I can guarantee you is that if you follow my tips, you are going to give yourself the best chance to win, but it's not going to guarantee a win when you're playing against other competent players. Now, if you're playing against bad players or players who don't utilize a lot of the clues that they're seeing, then I can guarantee you that um, you probably will win because a lot of these these are big edges against people who aren't paying attention. So here we go. Uh, so what we know is we have Peach, we have White, we have Ice Axe. We don't have any rooms. So it doesn't matter where we go. I'm gonna to go to the bar because I like going. I like the corner rooms because <coughs> even if you roll a low number, uh, you'll be able to move somewhere. You won't be able to. You won't be able to be stuck not taking a turn. Uh, so here's the question: Do we want to bluff right off top, or do we not want to bluff right off top? Now, when you go very first, I'm okay with bluffing. Um, 
And I think it's a, it's a good play the majority of the time to bluff when you go first. So I'm going to throw out a character that I already know. Actually, I don't know. I um, Instead of a character I already know, I think I'm going to throw out the weapon I already know. Because I have two characters that I already have eliminated, I'm just going to guess Plum. I'm going to throw my Ice Axe in there, which will throw people off if it happens to be right or something. So we're going to get shown something right off top. So we know that Scarlet has the bar. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so this is a pretty useful clue we just got. But we know that Plum has... has Scarlet or the Ice Root, and that's it. We know that Plum has Scarlet or the Ice Root. So, one thing you'll notice is that when uh, it's, it's, it's always more beneficial to a longer game and uh, a lot less people just getting a quick hit win when people ask something, the very next person's able to show them something. So just like that, we now know that Peach has either... Oh, we know Peach does not have Peach. Okay, so that's good. So we know that Peach has either the Ice Room or the Ski. Now this is useful because we know that Plum has Scarlet or the Ice Room. So we want to get to the Ice Room and find out if Plum has the Ice Room. That's basically where our next goal is. Because by finding out if Plum has the Ice Room, if we know that Plum doesn't have the Ice Room, then he has Scarlet. Uh, and if Plum does have the Ice Room, then Peach has the Ski. So uh, that's, you know, that's just some advanced note-taking and quick sort of advanced tactics that'll help you learn some clues without actually having to ask for them. So we know that Peach either has uh, the Ski. Oh, wrong one. Peach either has the Ski or the Ice Room. My guess is she has the ski, and that uh, Plum has the ice room. That's just my guess. I think Plum's bluffing with the ice room because he knows he, he doesn't want to. You know, a lot of times going to a room you already have is useful. So what this is telling me is that neither mustard or white uh, mustard, because we already know who has the bar. Okay, so here's we we know that white either has the lounge, the steeple, or scarlet. A lot of times you'll, you'll see people go to the place they want first, you know what I mean? I mean that's the fact. So we have Peach, so we're going to be able to show her that, which is good that she asked. Nobody else finds out anything extra. Um, and it does hit me in to maybe think that White has the lounge, and I also think that Plum has the ice room. Those are just complete guesses, but they're based on that I think people are going to rooms they have to try to deduce the killer and the weapon because it's what I would do. So this is a perfect example of oh never mind I rolled the three so I can get to the ice room. I thought it was gonna be a perfect example of why I go to corner rooms because uh, if you roll something like a two I wouldn't be able to go to the ice room. A three <laughs> somehow it gets me there. So I want to find out if Homie has the ice room like I think he does. 
So the best way to do that is, uh, I suppose, putting my own weapon in there. And uh, asking about mustard, because mustard, I already know two people don't have mustard. So I, I'm actually leaning towards mustard being the culprit. Just um, That's a far-fetched hunch. I don't fully believe that, but anyway. And I'm going to guess my weapon, which is the ice axe. Because I want to... Oh, she has mustard. Wow, okay. That was unfortunate. I'm not going to lie. That was actually unfortunate. That was unfortunate because really all I was trying to do was get by Scarlet to plump to find out what's going on. So we know that Peach doesn't have Peach. We know that Peach doesn't have the bar. So we do know that Peach has the ski. So that clues us into that. What that also clues us into even more, and it takes away our need to know if Plum has the ice room because we're more certain now than we were even before that he does in fact have the ice room. Okay, so we know Peach either has the ski pole, Scarlet, or the lift station. Based on my probabilities, I want to say it's probably the list section that she has, but don't know. So Peach is going to go plumb with the rope in the lounge. So we know that Mustard either has the lounge, he has the rope, or he has plumb. Okay, so we know that it's another poker. We know they don't have a lift station, so we have white. No one else has seen white except for that. Uh, so Mustard now knows we have white. So the boat room says white. So they're going to say Moriarty, who could, definitely could be it with the icicle. These are all things I don't know. So what I know is that Plum has Moriarty, icicle, or boot room. Boot room. Boot room. Oh, boot room. Uh, I've been reading that wrong. Boot room. Okay. So we know that Plum has Moriarty, the icicle, or the boot room. There we go. Anything higher than a three, I suppose. Um, okay. Um, any of these are okay, I suppose. I'm going to go to the corner room again. I'm going to go to the bedroom. And uh, so I'm going to ask about Scarlet, I believe, because I know a lot of people either have Scarlet. So I'm, I want to find out where the Scarlet's at because that will clue me into other things. And I guess I'll go with the poker, because I just don't know anything about the poker yet. So Peach has something. Let's see. Okay, so Peach has Scarlet. 
So Peach has the Scarlet, which means Plum does have the Ice Room, like we thought. And that also means that White has the Ski Pole or the Lounge. And we're closer to believing that the poker is, in fact, the weapon that was done. The bedroom could also be the room it was done. And so I think we, it's possible we just stumbled onto two of the answers uh, in bedroom and uh, poker. But still don't know for sure. So Scarlet's going to say plum with the ski pole. Okay, so here we go. So mustard either has plum. He has a ski pole, or he has the observatory. Mustard has plum, ski pole, observatory. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and exclamation mark plum with mustard. So I'm starting to think that he does have it, and that it is in fact Moriarty that is our culprit. <laughs> So here's the ice room. We know who has ice room. It's Plum himself. So he's not looking for that. So he's trying to find Peach at the ski pole. Okay. So we know who has the ski pole now because we have Peach. We know that Plum himself has the ice room. So what that tells us is that White has the ski pole. White has the ski pole or the lounge. So we don't know if White has the lounge, but we do know that White definitely has the ski pole and probably, according to this, has the lounge, according to my previous notes. Uh, so, that's interesting. So, I'm starting to think it is Moriarty with the poker in one of these rooms. Maybe the bedroom. Maybe the hot tub room. Who knows? I mean, the rooms are just, they're tough to figure out. You just got to kind of really pay attention as you're going. So, Peach is looking for white, the rope. Okay, so we have right white. We don't know who has the rope. So we know that white either has the rope or the hot tub room. White has rope or hot tub room. I have a feeling we're not going to win this one. I actually have a feeling if you want to, like this like that um, that plum might win this based on just the questions I'm seeing being asked and that I think he's closer to solving it than I am. So, Mustard is going to guess Mustard with the Icicle in the boot room. So, Scarlet's last card is... Oh, no, she showed him Mustard. Okay. Yeah, she showed him Mustard. We know that because she didn't have the other two. And we know she has Mustard. So, now it's White's turn. She's going to the sauna. Which is fair because we don't know anything about the sauna. So, that's not bad. She's going to go Moriarty with the Icicle. So, oh, that was that was a question that could probably end the game. That's probably going to win it for somebody that's not us. Because too many people didn't have that shit. Mustard either has the Icicle, Moriarty, or the Sauna. Oh, he's not ready to guess. Which is interesting. Ugh, we need to. Um, this one's gonna be tricky. I don't think I don't really like our chances a ton. Yeah, I definitely don't like our chances a ton at this one. Because I actually think it happened in the bedroom. I think Homeboy had the sauna, which is why he didn't solve it just now. He doesn't know what room it's in. Here's the thing about the hot tub room is that the only person I think that might have it is White. 
So I'm going to go to the hot tub room. And I'm going to guess Moriarty with the icicle in the hot tub room. So dipshit had the icicle. That, I don't understand him bluffing this late in the game unless he already is 100% he knows what weapon it is, but I don't see how you can know what weapon it is at this point if you're anybody. Though that could just be my perception because I haven't gotten anything. I think it ends this round before it gets to me, if I'm being honest. I think I lose this game sometime this round. So let's see. So we know that Peach has Scarlet, so that doesn't tell our shit. Plum's, this is who I think is going to win it. He says Plum. The icicle. Mustard's going to stop him with the icicle right there. I probably should have just stuck to my guns and kept on poker. Another observatory. Interesting. White with the icicle. I stopped right there with the icicle. Everybody keeps thinking that it's the icicle because I, I guess that maybe why Mustard did that was to throw us all off and have us all sort of uh, running in circles. The good news is Mustard just failed to uh, to make a room, which could be our saving grace. The bedroom is, is where I think it happens, so uh, I definitely am not super keen on White being in there. But it's not going to get past me because I have wiped. She has the ski bowl. And, uh, so this could be our last turn, which is going to suck because I don't think there's anything I can do here that, short of getting a pretty good guess like we did last game that's going to clue us into... Um, let's review. This is a good time to review before I even do this. So it's important to review your notes because you might have missed something. I miss stuff all the time and I'm really good at this game. So let's see, Plum has, we know that Plum either has Moriarty, he does not, the lounge, or the rope. Wait, that's not true. Mustard, god dang it, what did I just do? Okay, so Mustard has Plum, which we think he does. He doesn't have the rope, and he could have the lounge. So he either has plum or the lounge. We're thinking it's plum. We also think he, he has plum for that one, so that's not a ton of help. White has rope or the hot tub room. Um, that's still open. Plum has Moriarty. He does not. The icicle, he does not. So he does have the boot room. So that, that helps us out. That was something we missed. Okay, so here we go. So look at the rooms we have left. It's the observatory. The sauna. And the lounge. I'm going to go to the sauna. I really should have probably gone to the observatory. Because I think it happened in the bedroom. Let's find out what's up. Let's go Moriarty. Let's go poker. Okay. So, okay. So here's... I'm, I'm glad you got to see this part that we got this far. Because this is a point where things are very, very interesting for us. Because we know it's the poker... We have a high, high hunch it's the bedroom. And we're thinking it's Moriarty. So, here's the point where do we guess? That's what it comes down to. Do, do we guess? Uh, now, assuming... We 
no two of their cards, and we believe it's the lounge that they have. Why does we? Why do we believe it's the lounge that they have? I think that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because if they don't have the hot tub room, they either have the hot tub room or the lounge, right? And white has rope or hot tub room. So if white has the rope, then they do not have the hot tub room. And that's where it was. And if they have the hot tub room, then they do not have the rope. Sounds tricky. Okay, the odds are that they have plum. We're almost certain that they have plum. We're almost positive that they have plum. So, this one's tough, because I could take a guess here and go Moriarty with the poker, and it's in one of these rooms. Uh, I feel like I'm going to lose if I don't guess here, but I feel like if I guess here, I'm going to lose. So, it, it's an interesting conundrum. I mean, do I just go with my gut? My gut was telling me it was the freaking bedroom. Um, but then again, I just don't know. Now, the, the the thing that, like, this is where the game gets really interesting, like, because I'm sitting here looking at Plum, and I really believe Mustard has Plum. I really believe that. And if I hedge my bets to that, then he either has the lounge or the observatory. No, that's not necessarily true. It's more about what White has as their last one. And they either have the rope or the hot tub room. I can't. I'm just going to give it up. I think I just gave the game up. But hopefully at least you can still see what we're doing here, even though we didn't win it. You know, it is what it is. And there's always a chance that, that they don't win it here. But I, I, I'm confident we'll win it on our next turn. But I don't think we're going to get that far. You already have the bar. Oh, I don't understand that. Like, all you're doing is telling everyone else what it is when you do that. And you're just making people search for rooms at this point. Like, everybody knows it's Moriarty with the poker now. So everybody's just kind of looking for the room. There it is. It was the lift station, in fact. So there, I mean, there was just nothing we could do there to deduce what room it was. We did know that we needed, like, I did know that we needed to guess right there because we were going to lose if we didn't. We would have guessed wrong, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but, you know, uh, that's uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes when you don't get the right, um, you just get unlucky. So, um, yeah, there goes that one. And uh, so hopefully, you know, this was a little bit of, a, of an instructional uh, video to kind of teach you how to play Clue a little bit. And I hope you learned something. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, just drop it in the comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope you guys have a good one. Much love.